quick review of something I actually kind of just added to my card as a joke on Farmers by CA. Uh, it was like 12 bucks and I just threw it in there. Uh, the reviews aren't great on Fragrantic. It's got a 3.8, but the notes sounded interesting, so I figured it was worth a shot. The top notes are cardamom, ginger, lemon, artemisia, mid is clove, cinnamon, French labdanum, overs root, incense, cedar, vetiver, amber, and patchouli. So it certainly sounds interesting to me. Uh, especially the ginger and the cardamom, um, the lemon in the opening, since it's going to be nice, fresh, um, but also kind of, interestingly enough, heavy at the same time because it has amber in it, it has, um, you know, some spices in it, clove and cardamom and everything else, but I figured it'd be worth a shot, so let's check it out. Very basic box, honestly. Uh, can't complain too much for 10 bucks. It says it's a it's EDT concentration. Um, yeah, no real information on it. EDT. Yep. So never heard of it. I don't know what the brand is called. Zer Icon, or if it that's the actual name of the fragrance. It looks like a Rue 21 fragrance. Um, interestingly enough, it's very basic bottle. It is a 2.5 ounce, 75 mil. Nice magnetic cat. A rubber sprayer. It's sticky too. But it's a rubber. Um, kind of weird. So, anyway, I'm going to spray this on my hand. My arm. Atomizers, okay, for 12 bucks. Oof, I'm getting in the air. It's not, it's not smelling good so far. Oh God. <laughs> I see why this got a 3.8. This is no, uh, this is not good. It, the issue is you have the clove mixing with the ginger in a way that is not appealing at all. Honestly, I'm getting vibes of some of the like almost like Creed Viking cologne vibes, um, but not in a good way. So it has some of that kind of like fizzy, effervescent, uh, cool Dr. Peppery sort of nuances to it that I personally get from Creed Viking cologne in a way. Getting that here, you know, like an old school barbershop, effervescent take on you know, I don't know, in, in that kind of realm. But there is also like just this really off-puttingness that makes it worse. You know, you're getting the cinnamon and the incense, and that makes sense actually now that I'm looking at it. You know, it's it's got some overlap with Viking Cologne, certainly just from looking at the note. This, um, the citrus is in the opening and the vetiver in there, uh, and it's obviously spicy. I'm interested to see though, how much overlap because it, it is reminding me of that now for granted if you look at what it reminds you of this certainly there's nobody saying it's Viking Cologne um, but I am interested to see because that's what I'm getting from it so yeah I mean it makes sense to a degree uh, Viking Cologne the openings you know some citrus you get mandarin orange lemon bergamot pink pepper this you got ginger lemon uh, obviously it's got the cardamom in the opening and then Viking Cologne, you got some of that that spiced nutmeg, uh, geranium, lavender, sage. Here, though, you got the cloves and the cinnamon kind of acting as that spice. Different type of floral um, component. Both have cedar, though, in the dry down. Both have vetiver in the dry down. Um, and both have patchouli in the dry down. So I'm not surprised I'm getting that. This is a much poorer... Uh, take on that sort of DNA. It smells a lot syn more synthetic. It smells less appealing. Um, it, it's just not doing it for me. I think this definitely reminds me of Viking Cologne. A lot of Viking Cologne. But like I said, almost like the Cologne House that tried to clone Viking Cologne and did a bad job of it. Uh, <laughs> that's what it's reminding me of. That kind of overdid the you know, the, the citruses in the opening, and then again, you get the vetiver and the spiciness. 
it's it's not good. Even if you like Viking Cologne, which I do, I have a bottle myself. It's not my favorite, but I do enjoy it. I, this is no go, even for twelve bucks. Um, now, if you're obsessed with Viking Cologne, you think it's the best fragrance in the world, maybe try this because it's so cheap. It might be a cheap alternative you can wear around. I much prefer Baldessarini's. Um, I think it's called Baldessarini from Baldessarini, or is it also? I can't remember what it's called. But they have an offering from the house of Baldessarini that is a um, much better take on that kind of Creek Viking Cologne DNA. This is not not the one I would go to, okay, even for 12 bucks. 